these are the cicadas. Look at them. These, these are the exoskeletons. Nope, these are just a skeleton. So these guys come every 17 years and they come out of the ground like this. They climb up the trees and as you can see, they hang out in the trees and then they emerge out of those cocoon into a full-fledged grown cicada. So this is a cicada with some cool looking red eyes, big wings and nice meaty body. So we are going to catch a dozen of these and cook them in a style that no one has ever done. All right, that's number one. Let's catch some more. Caught a dozen of them. Yeah, once, once they molt, they look like this guy, the white one, and then they dry off and then they become brown, like the other one, like that. See the difference, young and older? When I say older, they're only like, three hours older and then all they do is make big sounds attract their mate and reproduce lay their eggs and then they go back to the ground for another 17 years isn't that cool 17 years I remember these things coming out in 2004 and now they are back again all right we got the cicadas from the garden and tossed them in hot water nice and fresh and they are all dead at this point ready to be cooked. Today we'll be cooking a South Indian staple food, chicken lollipop, except with cicadas. So it's gonna be cicada lollipop. No one has ever done it, so I'm gonna be doing that today. A little fun fact about cicadas is that if you look at their wings, they are big and they cover the entire body and they're waterproof. The reason for them being waterproof is because they prevent bacteria from getting into the body, which makes it bacteria free. But at the same time, just to be sure, we will treat them with how every South Indian cooking is treated. Start every South Indian cooking with turmeric. Put a little bit of turmeric, wash off any meat you have, you have to get rid of the bacteria. And that's what the belief is. As they say in Tamil, Maga Matama Manjal all the cicadas are now washed in uh, turmeric, which is believed to be antibacterial. So we are good to start cooking now. Let's start the marination process. Only a few ingredients, a little bit of soy sauce, and a squeeze of lemon, a little bit of ginger garlic paste, and some chili powder. And on top of this, let's get some salt and some pepper. All right, that's it. Mix them together and let it sit for a bit. If you're wondering how do I know all this recipe, I have no idea. I'm just following what the ever favorite Medras Samir is teaching us to do. I bet they didn't do a cicada. All right, let's leave it alone for 30 minutes. Now let's start preparing the batter. In order to get the batter for the cicada lollipop, we are going to be using one tablespoon of corn flour and the same amount of all-purpose flour and a half a tablespoon of Kashmiri mirchi. This is not chili powder. Uh, it is something that's a little less potent, but it gives a uh, good red coloring. So let's just use that. And finally, let's crack open an egg and mix with it. Isn't that ironic that the chickens were eating the cicadas in the morning? They laid this egg. Now I'm eating the cicada with their egg. This completes the food chain in a weird, complicated way. Finally, a little bit of salt and some oil. 
I'm going to be using peanut oil here because that's what I'm going to be using to fry. All the ingredients are in for the batter and let's mix it up. You want to make sure it's a little bit thick because you want it to stick to the cicadas and not too gooey. If it gets too thick, you can add a little bit of water. I think this is coming out good. Kind of like the consistency of pancake. Okay, our batter is ready. Cicadas are marinated. Now, let's heat up some oil. You know, everyone knows that peanut oil is what you use to deep fry anything. It'll make it taste amazing, like Five Guys Burgers and Royal Farm Chicken. You can't go wrong with that. Once you see some smoke coming out of the oil, now we can take those cicadas, toss them, toss them in the batter, give it a good swirl, and let's dip it in the oil. Don't do all at once. Because you need some spacing between them. Give me the sound of cicada popping. Good to go. To finish off the dish, let's just take uh, half an onion and uh, chop it up. Now that the cicada deep frying is done, you have two ways you can serve this. One, we can stick a toothpick in there right through the cicada and call it the cicada lollipop. Or you can just leave it like that and call it the Cicada 65, just like Chicken 65. Your choice. All the good food bloggers are stuck in Southeast Asia. You know, it's gonna take them another 17 years, if you think about it, to come and taste the cicadas. They're missing out on this in this pandemic. So I'm gonna be doing the honors here. Let's do the cicada eating for Mark, one for Sunny, and one for Trevor. All right, we got all the three big guys covered and we're gonna eat in their name, starting with Mark the Cicada. Good morning, Mark Cicada. Hope you're having an amazing day today. I'm gonna be eating you. Oh, 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 oh wow. Uh, that's incredibly delicious. Okay. Mark is done. Now to Sunny. Oh no. No, that's better. Let's get Sunny in. This is not bad as a cucumber. Check it out guys. This is Trevor the Cicada and we are in the juicy land. Mmm. Mmm. I know you guys couldn't make it, but in your honors, I ate all three. Oh, you just saw me eat the other batch. You know, I got to be honest and tell you how it really tastes. Uh, it's not gooey because I deep fried it way too much. And it's pretty crunchy. You know, it, it pretty much feels like uh, any jerky deep fried, you know, nothing uh, insecty or nothing like a gooey stuff inside. So it's perfectly acceptable battered heavily so you don't taste the cicada at all but if you pan fry the cicadas without much batter maybe we'll taste uh, much of the gooey stuff so that's the verdict and I hope you enjoy the video feel free to subscribe not for these kind of content but for my DIY projects please share it with your friends and give a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video all right it's cicada time